Welcome back. Another Everyman crossword today. This one here, number 3916. Link is in the description as usual. Try it yourself first. Let me know how you get on. Here we go. Right. Forward and back. Which is cat? Yep. Over familiar. It's nice to get the long one across the top straight away, isn't it? Uh, I think I've got it anyway. Uh, which is cat is a familiar. Forward is over familiar, so back must be over. Why does back mean over? Let's go with that for now. I think it's right. Dance with bachelor. A pudding full of booze. That's going to be a... Yeah, so rumba is the dance like that, and a bachelor is BA, Bachelor of Arts, and a rum barber is a, a pudding. A little fossil I acquired forming part of pelvis. Uh, is that going to be... Um, sh nah, let's come back to that. River in Slavonic. Oh, it's just Avon. Avon is a British river, or more than one British river, I think, with that name. A-V-O-N is there in the, in, in the word Slavonic. Six initially. Well, six, the I Roman numerals, initially dubious, D. Etymologies, dictionary recorded. Etymologies, dictionary, is the video, E-O-E-D, could it be? Hmm, not sure about that, but let's uh, keep it there for now. Top speed, satisfied? Met with silence. Don't know. Love I managed, if in a roundabout way, to see an opera. Oh dear, operas. Um, I think it probably ends in uh, like uh, I O because love I something for managed in a roundabout way to just perhaps backwards so o i yeah i don't know about that hopefully it's an opera i've heard of without fail staggeringly blearily it's an anagram of blearily i should think without fail reliably so that's just an anagram of blearily. Staggeringly is the anagram indicator, and the whole thing is without fail. Yes, it's Fidelio. Not sure I've heard of it, but that certainly sounds like an opera, doesn't it? Let me know in the comments who wrote Fidelio. It's O I led if, love I managed if. O for love, like in tennis. I is I, managed is led if. It's just there in the clue. In a roundabout way, I mean to put it backwards. And if we uh, we do what we're told there, we see an opera. Fidelio, top speed, satisfied, met with silence. Fast something. East End theologians, kind of a sponge. Hmm. Theologians are often DD in crosswords, Doctor of Divinity, but not here, I don't think. Lufa, that's a kind of sponge. Oh, it is Lufa. That's um, the theologian here is, I believe, Martin Luther, the German, um, the German, what did he do? He was a sort of the founder of Protestantism, wasn't he? Way back in the Middle Ages. The one who nailed his theses to the door of the church. So that's Luther. I think it's saying if you say it in a, a, um, a sort of East London accent, you might say Luther as Luther. And that's what that's getting at. I mean, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with East London accents, that's uh, not easy. Full, presumably, we've got here. Top speed, full throttle. Yeah, I think it is full throttle. Satisfied is full. Like if an order is satisfied, it's full, I suppose. And then if you silence something, you throttle it. Full throttle. 
what come what come and go largely in the main that's tidal something tides come and go the main is as an old uh, sort of poetic word for the sea is the main like the the spanish main is another name for the caribbean so this is going to be tidal water or tidal something got up for wine rosé rose rosé double definition although the, the wine has an accent on the e I mean, because we don't have those in English, they seem to be fair game to ignore, but I don't really like clues like that myself. Bird in box leading to argument. Sparrow. Box is spar. Argument is row. Sparrow, I suppose. Just put those together. Get a bird. When you eat meatiest sp stews. Tea times, that's uh, an anagram of meatiest. Stews is the anagram indicator. Lady on rock, ever more lethally emitting intoning primary. Well, that's not familiar with this word, but I think it must be this. Um, so primarily, I'm looking at the first letter of every word here. Yeah, and presumably a Lorelei is um, this is this whatever this is must be i'm guessing from some 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 sort of mythology perhaps let me know in the comments if you're familiar with laurelies key perhaps whole so we're told key key can often mean um a b c d e f g musical instruments like the key of g as in um musical scores perhaps not here though trembling gutted after comic genius dismisses second philosopher i can think of a philosopher beginning with w that might fit in there let's write it in and have a look Wittgenstein, famous German or Austrian philosopher. So how does this work? Trembling. Comic genius dismisses. A comic genius could be a wit. Trembling gutted is TG. Take the middle letters out of trembling and you gut it. So wit TG. And then. Oh, it's not. Uh, wit is comic, not comic genius. So it's, yes, it's comic is wit. Then TG from trembling gutted. After comic the wit. And then the genius dismisses second is Einstein is the genius. Dismisses the second letter. Get rid of the I from Einstein. Put that all together, Wittgenstein. Not easy at all, that. Key, perhaps. Whole, so we're told. Oh, it's islet. Islet, that's a, a key, is a, a, another word for a small island, like the Florida Keys. Whole, so we're told. Yeah, islet, because it sounds like E-Y-E-L-E-T, islet, which is a, a type of whole. And it's because it says, so we're told, that means sounds like. So it sounds like islet, the whole, but it is islet, the island, the key. Hope that makes sense. Singer's festive song getting longer. Festive song must be a carol. Yeah, Carol King is a singer. Festive song is a carol. Getting longer is E King. Put them together. Carol King, the uh, singer. Shock as potty is overturned. Yeah, it's done. If you're potty or a bit mad, you are nuts. Write that backwards. Stun. Shock. Ordering a la carte, rejecting starters of andouillette and aioli. English getting something sweet. Wow. Now that looks complicated, but I don't think it is. Ordering a la carte just means anagram a la carte. Rejecting starters of these means take out the first letters of these. That's A and A. So we get, we're left with L, C, A, R, T, E, and English is going to be E at the end, I should think. 
um, what was it going to be? Treacle? Yeah, Treacle, I think. Again, that's just an anagram of a la carte without A and A from here, and E for English. Very common. You see English, good chance you've got to stick an E in it. And treacle is most definitely something sweet. What's this one that ends in I? Coaching with amateur, wanting to boil dumplings. Well, I know a type of dumpling that fits nicely. Gnocchi, the Italian sort of uh, dumpling. Coaching with amateur, wanting to boil. Yes, it's uh, amateur wanting means take the A for amateur out of the word coaching and then anagram it. That's what boil means, anagram it. So it's just anagram of coaching without the A. A you might see on maybe a, a golf scoreboard somewhere we will have an A next to their name if they're an amateur. Pooh's friends, time for bed. Um, yeah, Pooh's friend is Roo, the kangaroo. So Pooh's friends, with the apostrophe S, means ruse. And time is T, like in physics, for bed. And a roost is a bed for a, a bird, I think. Inert gas combusts most hot. It's an obvious anagram, isn't it? Anagram of inert gas. Um, what is it? Most hot. Angriest, angriest. Does hot mean angry? I suppose as in hot under the collar or something. Slips into conversation. Cistern jets faulty. Again, another obvious anagram. It's going to be um, interjects, I think. Slips into conversation is interject. Uh, it's just an anagram of cistern jet. It's a very simple anagram. Tidal waves. I see what largely is doing there now. It's a uh, large. So what come and go largely? Tidal waves are pretty large often. In the main, the sea. Right, 12 minutes in, doing well. Grand won by Tyrant after card games, somewhere in the Balkans. Well, there's somewhere in the Balkans that obviously fits there, so let's have a look at that. Montenegro. That's a country in the Balkans. So, Grand, G for Grand, won by Tyrant after card game. Card game. Grand one by Tyrant. Card game. No, I don't I don't see how that works. Don't know. Let me know in the comments how that works. Move fast with bravery at last, daring to find source of spirit. Bravery, his bottle, and you might find a spirit in a bottle, like a spirit as in rum or whiskey or something. Move fast with bravery. Yeah, I think it is whiskey, whiskey bottle. Possibly. Move fast would be whisk. Does whisk mean move fast? Maybe not. Bravery at last is the why, and daring is bottle. Let's go with that for now. This looks unlikely here, doesn't it? After end of jog, before start of ablutions, every man smelling like old meat. Gamey? End of jog. G? Before start of ablutions. I'm not sure what the before is doing, but start of ablutions is A, and every man's, as in belonging to every man, every man being the writer of this crossword, is my. So he or she is referring to themselves. That's, uh, so that's the my, and the whole thing is 
Smelling like old meat is gamey. Not sure what the before is doing. Anyway. Win a motorbike. Well, that's easy. That's triumph. That's double definition of triumph is an old type of motorbike, I believe. And win is triumph. Elderly relative transfixed by Brussels body, one serving Europeans. Elderly relatives, grands, transfixed by Brussels body, one serving Europeans. Hmm. A little fossil I acquired from Python. Yeah, this is the one I saw earlier. I wondered if a little of this 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 phrase here is I L I A C, and is that part of the pelvis that vaguely rings a bell? Iliac. Is it a must be a bone, I think. Now, elderly relatives, grands looks good, doesn't it? Let's write that in. Grecians, could it be Grecians? So elderly relatives, grands, transfixed by, means put inside, Brussels body, EC, European Commission, one, I, Roman numerals, and Europeans, Grecians, people from Greece. So there we go, 60 minutes, that might be a record. If that's correct, let's check. Brilliant. So quite a straightforward one today. Let me know how you got on in the comments. Which clues did you like, which didn't you like? Let me know if there's anything you didn't understand and I'll try and explain better. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for some more crosswords. Bye.